the local administration of Dibrugar district, in Assam state, has sealed the St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital, which has been serving the poor of the region for five decades. The superior of the St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital community in Dibrugar, Assam state, developed mild symptoms of fever and a bad stomach on returning from a visit to Guwahati, Assam's biggest city. After undergoing a test she was found positive with COVID-19 on July 3, said Father Felix Anthony of Miao Diocese in neighboring Arunachal Pradesh. Following this, the priest who is the public relations officer of the Northeast Regional Bishops' Council, which comprises 15 dioceses in seven states of the region, said that all the inmates of the community were tested. Twelve sisters and domestic support were found to be infected on 4th of July, bringing the number to 13. Consequently, the local administration of Dibrugar District sealed St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital, which is run by the Sisters of the Charity. Bartolome Capitano and Vincenzo Gerosa, also known as the Sisters of Maria Bombina, or Charity Sisters. Four of the nuns are senior citizens, Sisters Antonia Mompili, 85, Eileen Almeida, 72, Michael Serao, 82, and Martha Kachupara Abil, 83. Four others have tested negative and the entire hospital area is now declared a contaminated zone. Samples of all other inmates, staff, primary contacts and regular visitors are being collected and sent for testing at the Regional Medical Research Center, Dibrugar. Expressing shock, Bishop Joseph Ind of Dibrugar Diocese said, It is sad that the lifeline hospital of people in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh has now been sealed. My heart goes out to all the sisters and the inmates of St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital, said the Salesian Bishop, urging prayers for the quick recovery of the nuns and re-reopening of the hospital. Assam is the worst affected northeastern state. The state health and family welfare minister Himanta Biswasarm on Sunday confirmed 735 new COVID-19 cases, pushing the total number of infections in the state to 11,736, with 14 deaths. Of these new cases, 552 were from Guwahati alone. Bishop George Palaparambal of Miao Diocese has also asked his faithful to pray for the Sisters of Maria Bombina and advised everyone to be extra careful and comply with the existing lockdown restrictions to contain the spread of the virus. St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital is named after St. Bartolome Capitano and St. Vincenzo Gerosa, who founded the Sisters of Maria Bombina in Lovre, Italy in 1832, established in the year 1970 with the goal of rendering health services to the poor people of the locality and to help people get rid of alcohol and drug addiction. St. Vincenzo Gerosa Hospital is now a 70-bedded general hospital with a full-fledged psychiatric unit. Attached to the complex is an addiction center called Mercy Home and a general nursing and midwifery unit. The Sisters of Maria Bombina are also engaged in prison ministry and pastoral work. St. John Hospital in Guwahati is also run by the nuns. India was the entry point of the Sisters of Maria Bombina in Asia. A batch of four Sisters of Maria Bombina first touched Indian soil in Kolkata formerly Calcutta, on March 11, 1860. From there, they headed north some 100 kilometers for Krishnagar city, their final destination, on March 17. Six years later, the Diocese of Krishnagar was erected. From Krishnagar, they expanded to other parts of India as well as to Bangladesh, Myanmar, Japan, Israel, Thailand, and Nepal. Today, the Sisters of Maria Bombina in India have eight provinces, including Northeast Province, with its provincial house in Guwahati. Source, Miao Diocese. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel. Please do subscribe to our channel and share it with others, to get more of latest, Catholic news from around the world. And do remember to pray the Holy Rosary every day, to bring peace in the world as requested by Our Lady of Fatima. To support our channel, please, do subscribe and share it with all your friends and family members. Thank you.